All right. Different financial statement elements and accounts, and classify an account into financial statement elements. Okay. So transactions are recorded in accounts that form the financial statement elements, and which are those assets, liabilities, owners' equity, revenues, and expenses. So now classify them into one of the sections. Hmm. How many of you feel C? A. B. Okay. Answer is C. This is simple. Investment and investment is a asset. Accumulated depreciation. You have an asset on the. You have some fixed asset on your asset side. You would reduce the accumulated depreciation here. Okay, so every time you reduce one item and show expense somewhere else, that is called as a contra asset. So we'll say total assets minus accumulated depreciation, net assets, and therefore we would call this as a contra account. Are we clear? The answer is B. Dividend payable was a liability, so anyways, answer was between B and C. Treasury stock means you are buying back your own shares. So when you buy back your own shares, you reduce the existing amount of equity, and therefore, treasury stock is considered as a contra equity because we have to reduce that section from the equity. Is it clear? So in your notes, there is a nice uh, table given. In the last questions, there is a nice table where they have given 25, 30 such items. Okay, so go and read that carefully. Okay, so you will figure out each of those items. Yes, how many of you feel A, C? A was the answer. What is chart of accounts? That let's say you are making sales, so sales would become one account. Then furniture will become one account. Plant and machinery will become one account. Salary will become one account. Cash will become one account. All these accounts you would classify into one of the five sections: asset, liability, income, expenses, or equity. So then, a detailed list of accounts that make up the five financial statement is called company's chart of accounts. Are we clear here? Yes or no?